I agree with Illa J, man. It's gross what y'all doing. And y'all really showing y'all true selves when it come to these beats and it come to this fandom that y'all got about Detroit. <laughs> Like, I've been in this industry for almost 20 years now, and it's just gross how people, not only do they use my brother, but they're so gross that they literally use me to get to my brother, and it's, it, they do it in such a gross way that it, it just it just makes me disappointed in this industry and in all these people, and all these people that y'all think that they love my brother so much, they just out here to make their name look closer to my brother, but they really don't give a fuck about him. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's kind of annoying. I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of these fake ass motherfuckers trying to act like they love my brother, but they really don't. They just care about their fucking pockets. All you motherfuckers is gross. All y'all is gross as fuck. I concur. Well said, young brother. That's, what is the T? Ooh, it's getting steamy around here. Can you see the steam? It's getting steamy with the tea here on the Moore Smudge Show. Hey, John. Ah, take me a sip. I'm going to sit this on down right here. I'm going to just be honest. From, you know, a 30-year perspective, point of view, just knowing your brother James, coming up with this sound with your brother James, pioneering this with your brother James, like having the first EP before Slum Village did. Shout out to Slum Village. All my brothers. Shout out to all the Order brothers. Shout out to everybody that was getting the knowledge, that everybody that was around during that time, early 90s, 91, 92. I know some of y'all was just being born. Some of y'all hadn't even manifest, got to the manifest yet. And I have to say this. Since we've been creating this sound and pioneering this thing and just pushing this thing through, these people have always been gross like this. They have always been just nasty. I don't know what if it, I don't, look, the funk, the flair, the, the, whatever we put into this, even with the, I can start with the Uma contract. He ain't going to say no names, but Mud, Mud, you know what I'm saying? Shots fired. We go back to q tip. We can go back to the whole Uma situation. I was there for that contract. I saw that whole situation go down. Shout out to Champ Town for helping Jay Dilla get out of the midst of what that Uma thing was. Looking at the contract via proof because, you know, we east side. We always had people that was in the game. Heavyweight hitters. Shout out to Champ Town for again, once again, because a lot of people don't know. That's who helped JD, Jay Dilla, our homeboy, try to get out of that contract because they was eating him alive with that Uma situation. That's how a lot of our beats from the Wheat Bread, Five Ella, you name it, got on your Day Lies, your uh, Far Side albums, Far Side remixes, a lot of that delicious vinyl stuff. I got instrumentals to that stuff. We went and picked out the samples. We sat down. Shout out to T3 because he was there too. When Wheat Bread was coming together, you know, Wheat Bread, a lot of y'all don't know, Wheat Bread is a combination of Five Ella plus Slum Village. A few extras, shout out to Phil Pot, Kenny Marquise, you know what I'm saying? Dub, June Bug, later on came DJ Jules, baby, you know what I'm saying? He was Jules, or Raquel, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of us that were around during this time, and the grossness was going on way back in the mid-90s, before we got to here. Here we are, 2023. And I'm glad to hear, you know what I'm saying, John really sit down and talk about it and break it down, because, man, money-wise... All them dudes been reaping more benefits than what we have. And we're the pioneers of the sound. I'm talking about back from the roots. They was doing contemporary jazz at first. Do you want more? Y'all heard it. They was doing jazz. That next album, they sounded like us. Okay? Common came from we be, we be, wobble, gobble, gobble. Little have, you know what I'm saying? With all of that, shout out to No ID. Shout out to the Beat Nuts, Juju. You know what I'm saying? Dog. Man, y'all y'all had your own sound. I get that. Now, when we came with our thing, it seemed like the whole industry, East Coast, West Coast, man, overseas, everybody trying to claim this thing. And our brother, and I've known Dylan since second grade. That's with my homeboy. For real, for real. I remember when John was, you know what I'm saying? Ella J was just bowling in the basement. You know what I'm saying? Like, I watched this young lad grow up. 
This is his legacy. This is his destiny. This is what he was born to do. A lot of us, this is what we were born to do. Industry. What is y'all problem when it comes to this thing we got, man? Why y'all can't pay us for what we want? Why y'all got to get so close to find out who the what and the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Why y'all cheating JD like that? Why? I'm asking questions. I just like to know. Why is it that the pioneers from Detroit, the Motown babies, the bastard children of Motown, that's why we're calling ourselves the bastard children of Motown, because every time we try and get something, you know what I'm saying, look what happened. Look how y'all treat us. This is just despicable. It's ridiculous. I just think that at the end of the day, y'all forget the fact that we are human beings. And when you stealing from somebody or you trying to confiscate or I got all the Dilla beats and all the, come on, dog. For real, man. That stuff I rapped over when, you know what I'm saying? I might have been 17. I got songs out here. Her dress got a batch of beats. Shout out to Dredge. You know what I'm saying? Black Sheep. I love all of y'all. But that Dilla sound or what that is, that ain't no native tongue. The native tongue, them didn't come over here and embrace the elements. They didn't embrace the order. That never happened. There should be some kind of family reunion before y'all can start talking about some anybody from Brooklyn or New York. I don't care who you are in the game. I don't care how many records you sold. You trying to smoke something that you ain't put in on, bruh. You trying to take something and flip something and you ain't even put one beat back in nothing. Oh, nothing. JD was already a polished sound by the time y'all seen him, by the time y'all ran into him. Same thing with him. You know what I mean? They say Dr. Dre was the mentor. Come on, man. M was already polished and coming off the assembly line, already ready by the time he ran into any of y'all. He was teaching y'all more than y'all was probably teaching him. So... The same thing with JD, that assembly line. We can make it fast. We can make it funky and make it fast. All y'all got to do is come back to the originators. Stop stealing. You got people here willing to do work. It's more beats. It's all kinds of beats. And a lot of us are very patient. But yeah, I agree with Illa J, man. It's gross what y'all are doing. And y'all really showing y'all true selves when it comes to these beats and it comes to... This fandom that y'all got about Detroit, man. I mean, y'all be getting, the dudes be getting moist. Like, it's, it's, I'm just saying, you paid your dues, you dope. We can do business, but let's do business proper. We ain't got time for all that backbiting, backdooring. And to the Detroit people and the players, certain people got beats over here, beats over here. You know what I'm saying? I don't see what y'all competing about. It's not yours. You didn't do it. I have more ties to any of that than anybody, and I ain't even speaking it out like that. I ain't took nobody to court. I done rapped on Slum Village first album. I done rapped on JD first album. I done rapped on all this and whatever. Where's my compensation? Where's my money? Casting went platinum out of over here. I don't know how many times. Anybody come back and say, Mud, you straight? You see Mud 5 Ella, you see all of that. I'm patient. I'm very kind and generous with this sound. However, yeah, it's going to come to a point where enough is enough. Where the players going to have to get paid. Man. That's all I'm saying. It's the Morse Mud Show. Don't be no hater. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do haters. Peace.